Over the past few decades, the Lord has brought over 100,000 Jews from Ethiopia to Israel, and today he uses friendships between Jews and Christians to bless them in the Holy Land. This is Alia News. Have you ever heard of a Jewish holiday called Sigt? If it doesn't ring a bell, you will learn in today's video why that might be, what this holiday is all about, and what it has to do with Aliyah. In response to political persecution, a worsening economy and a threat to the lives of Jews in Ethiopia, Israel began to rescue tens of thousands of their community through secret and dangerous operations around the 1980s, and efforts to bring more of them to the land are ongoing. Today, there are over 135,000 Jews with Ethiopian origin living in Israel, making up around 2% of the Jewish Israeli population. Though comparatively small in number, the Ethiopian influence on Israeli culture should not be underestimated. Eden Aline, the daughter of two Jewish immigrants from Ethiopia, represented Israel in 2021's Eurovision Song Contest with her amazing voice. An incredible contribution to Israeli immigration politics, Penina Tamano Shata was appointed Minister of Aliyah and Integration during the pandemic in May 2020 and became the first Ethiopian-born minister in the Israeli government. It is also remarkable how the Ethiopian Jewish community has had a great influence on Jewish tradition in Israel. A few years ago, a new official state holiday was introduced, Sigt. It is an ancient Ethiopian Jewish holiday that has been celebrated for centuries and is regaining so much meaning during this height of Ethiopian Alia. Sikt is traditionally observed 50 days after Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, on the 29th of Cheshvan, which usually falls on a day in October or November. The name of the festival stands for prostration or worship and people fast and gather on a mountain to read from scriptures and pray for the return to Zion and the rebuilding of the temple. Those now living in the land often pray for those who are still waiting to make Aliyah and thank God that they themselves are now finally home. This holiday is also a wonderful opportunity to celebrate unity in the community and raise awareness of their culture in Israeli society. In 2008, Sigt was recognized as an official state holiday. What a milestone for the Ethiopian Jewish community. Thousands of Jews living in Ethiopia today are still yearning for the day that they will finally arrive in Israel, when they shall no longer say next year in Jerusalem, but join thousands of others in the annual celebration of Sigt, giving thanks to God for their dream of making Aliyah becoming true. We don't have to look far back in time to see a world in which friendships or any sort of good relationships between Jews and Christians was not even imaginable. Even today, an understanding between the two groups cannot be taken for granted. It is only by God's grace that more and more Christians around the world will gain an understanding of God's plans for the Jewish people and his purposes for Israel. The friendships that exist today, not only between individual Jews and Christians, but between large organizations, are nothing short of miraculous. One example is the friendship between Ebenezer and the Jewish Agency. Over the past few years, they have cooperated in several ways to facilitate Aliyah and other projects. We will now hear about how God used their friendship for a recent project aimed at helping integrate new immigrants in Israel. The Aliyah Center in Kiryat Yam is one of several so-called absorption centers in Israel, places for Alim to find temporary accommodation, learn Hebrew and be immersed into Israeli society. The Ulpan complex at the Aliyah Center, where Ulpanim are taught to new arrivals, was in need of renovation. The Lord used Ebenezer to provide funds towards this project, which was finalized at the end of 2021. The complex has eight classrooms and three teacher lounges. The renovations included painting the rooms as well as installing noise insulated doors and acoustic ceilings, an important feature in such a busy place. The center teaches more than 300 olim per day, most of which are new immigrants from Ethiopia. 
Their arrival in Israel in midst of the COVID pandemic was far from easy, but their efforts were most definitely worth it. Over 160 Ethiopian Olim now live at the Aliyah Center. The learning opportunities are numerous. Hebrew language, training on integration, education, leadership and technology, to name a few. Among all the Olim attending Hebrew lessons, there are 150 children who now get to grow up as Israelis in the Promised Land. The children are well looked after and offered a wide range of activities and educational opportunities. This baby boy was born at the center only weeks after his parents made Aliyah. The Lord is truly blessing Israel with new life and with hope and a future. The regathering of the Ethiopian Jews is yet another testimony of God's faithfulness and his love for the Jewish people. Through many trials and dangers, these people have been partially brought back to the land over the past few decades. Today, they are enriching Israel with their contributions in society, politics, and even culture and religion, as we have learned today. We have also seen that the Lord uses relationships between Jews and Christians for his glory. But the growing involvement of Christians in Jewish affairs should not come as a surprise. We learn in God's word that he foretold thousands of years ago that the nations, that is non-Jews from all over the world, would play an active role in the Lord's gathering of the people of Israel. In Isaiah 49 we read, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, See, I will beckon to the nations, I will lift up my banner to the peoples. They will bring your sons in their arms and carry your daughters on their hips. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Aliyah.